In this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, the process I've just been through over the last uh, couple of hours to build out a whole new uh, web application that's going to go onto the Koala website uh, to provide some interactivity and engagement and advice to customers uh, before they decide whether to, to sign up to Koala. So firstly, let me just show you what we built. And then I'm going to walk you through the steps that uh, I uh, followed to get to this. And I'm going to show you some tools that I used, including uh, Claude, including ChatPRD, and including uh, V0. So what I wanted to provide here um, as part of the consulting and advice that we have within uh, Koala and my own consulting services, we help companies uh, to deploy a effective change enablement program to roll out uh, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, whatever the AI model is that they're rolling out across all of their employees. And for many companies, they think, oh, well, I'll just turn this thing on and people will start using it. Surely that's uh, super simple. Well, in fact, no, you need to be deploying a proper change enablement program. And so how do you come up with an estimate for what that is going to cost? So uh, what we have uh, simply here is, uh, just move my cursor over here, how many employees have you got in your company? Drag that across. Okay, we've got, uh, let's say we've got a company with 4,000 people in it. Um, we want to use external consultants to help us with the strategic um, uh, planning of this and the rollout. And then we are just going to run a, yeah, a medium intensity training program, which is going to follow um, best practice. So in short, we're going to be running a 14 week program. We're going to uh, uh, get 260 of our employees to become AI ambassadors. We should be budgeting overall 800,000, of which the large proportion of that is our internal costs that we're going to have to assign people to this program. But we'll also be looking at spending around $300,000 externally. So that means we should be thinking $200 per employee. And what does that program look like? Well, it's going to run over 14 weeks and we're going to have these different work streams, strategy, governance, use case identification, and so on. And then here we've got some next steps for us to follow. So this is the application they wanted to build so that someone can come in and we are going to be able to tweak what their program looks like. Really simple and easy. So how do we get to that point? Well, the first thing this morning was working in Claude. So Claude is where I have a project for my chief marketing officer. And uh, in this project is where we discuss all of the things that we want to put out onto the website and the campaigns uh, that we're going to be running. And we were chatting last week uh, about how we want to come up with some kind of buyer enablement tool. And just this morning, I said, look, Claude, I've got another idea, an AI change enablement planner that's going to help us uh, to visualize uh, the budget for a change enablement program. And I uploaded a um, uh, sort of program overview that we use for our consulting projects. So explaining to Claude all about what a change program uh, should look like and involve. Um, and so Claude having a chat with me, excellent idea. Thank you very much. Uh, here are some interactive elements and gave me a number of different ideas here, but it was really this phased implementation visualizer that I really liked uh, with different phases, almost sort of Gantt chart. So having got a bit of detail from Claude about how we're gonna go and do this, I then jumped over to a fantastic tool called Chat PRD. So PRD stands for Product Requirements Document. And uh, for anyone that is working in software uh, product development, uh, you'll know that a PRD is kind of your unit of work. This is where we define what this thing uh, needs to do. So my kickoff uh, to Chat PRD was help me write a document using the Chat PRD template. Um, within our marketing website for Koala, we want to build an interactive AI change enablement planner, and so on and so forth. Um, so. Thanks for the detailed brief. I can help you. And uh, then I've uploaded a few things like what the look and feel of our page. And all I've gone through here is a conversation with Chat PRD, which is 100% focused on drafting great PRDs. And uh, Chat PRD has walked me through. This is the, the format that we're going to create and provide me a bit more information. Oh, just a bit of background. This is the technology that we use. Great. Here's the outline of the document. Uh, go for it. And so uh, now Chat PRD starts writing up the document. 
And in one shot, uh, this is what, what we got. So an interactive AI change enablement planner, uh, too long, didn't read. This is what we're going to be building. The business goals, we want to generate leads for Koala and my own consulting through having this. The user goals, we want a CIO to be able to come to this thing and very quickly understand uh, what their um, a change enablement uh, budget and plan needs to look like. Non-goals, this is not a detailed project planning tool. This is not how you're actually going to manage your project. Um, we're not looking to collect data through this. It's just going to run on the client side. We're not going to have a database behind it. And we're not looking for collaboration between different uh, parties. So it's just purely a buyer enablement tool. Um, user stories, depending on who's going to be using it. Excellent. Functional requirements. Uh, we want a timeline visualization. We want some interactivity so that you can use this thing. Uh, we want to understand the different roles and resources, uh, both internal and for, for partners, um, checklists, and so on. The user experience, how is someone going to find this thing? They're going to come to the website, and then they're going to um, uh, you know, be asked, see what it takes to drive this kind of change. The core experience, they're going to re review the brief intro, then they land on the planner. They're going to start filling in uh, bits and pieces. They're going to adjust sliders and toggles and options. Then the right side summary panel uh, is going to surface the delivery time, the per work stream costs, hires, roles breakdown. And then we're going to have some milestones. Below the timeline, an auto-generated checklist of recommended next steps tailored to the selected scenario. Uh, users can then download the full summary or copy a share link. Um, and an option to reset all of the inputs. Just before I go on, I just want to show you exactly what we ended up with an hour or so later. Sliders, uh, inputs, a really clear summary, and you can download the plan as a PDF. So by defining the uh, PRD up front, it makes it so much easier when you get into actually creating this thing that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so the narrative, uh, I love this part of the PRD uh, through Chat PRD. Uh, Emma is CIO. Um, they've been doing a pilot. Now they want to roll out uh, AI more formally, but now she needs a plan. She's never done this before. How long is it going to take? Who do I need? And perhaps most importantly, what new roles and costs should her budget anticipate? She comes to Koala's marketing site. She fills in some basic details. And then uh, she downloads this PDF, uh, and now she's confident. So that gives us that, um, that overall experience. Some success metrics, business metrics, technical metrics, tracking plan. Uh, then the PRD, again, remember, this was a single shot from us having a, a brief conversation. Technical needs, we're going to be front-end, Next.js, React, TypeScript, because that's what our um, project is using. We're going to use Shad, CN, and Tailwind for the responsive styling. Uh, no integrations really needed, no data storage really needed, um, and uh, so on. Project estimate, four to five weeks. That's what I love because we've done it in four to five hours. But uh, there we go. And some suggested phases. So that was our PRD created. I was probably like 10 minutes of chatting to chat PRD, and I got this amazing uh, document, which I was then able to export to a markdown file. And now we move on to our next stage of our process. So now we come into a tool called V0, V0. So V0 is a tool that enables you to generate uh, uh, user interfaces, minimum viable products um, for you to test and, and, uh, and play, play with things. So two things that I'll show you. I've got my Koala project here. And in my Koala project, I have uploaded knowledge. So I uploaded the PRD document that came from uh, Chat PRD, and then I also uploaded uh, the change enablement program elements, which came from um, uh, my source document of what goes into a, a core um, change enablement program. So having done that, I then came in to start chatting. And my first chat, if I go back here, let me just go back to V1 rather than where we ended up. Two hours ago, you can see. Um, so go back up to the top. Back up to the top. So I would like your help designing a new change enablement planner that we're going to put onto our website marketing pages. In your project knowledge, you've been provided with a PRD for the AI change enablement planner. First off, I'd just like you to review that document and report back 
with what you've learned from it and how you might start to approach this project challenge. Thought for two seconds. <laughs> uh, here is, I've reviewed the PRD and here's the overview of what we're going to do. Um, yeah, I understand it. I understand it. I understand it. Um, I find this is really helpful just to make sure there's no misunderstanding and that V0 understands uh, the PRD that we've drafted. Excellent. Let's start by planning the implementation. Thought for one second. Here's the implementation plan. We're going to come up with this component architecture. Let me just zoom in here and move across. So we are going to, oh, uh, maybe I zoom out a little bit. Um, so we are going to, I should probably, uh, some input controls, sliders, toggles, number inputs. Uh, we're going to have a Gantt chart, milestones and work streams. We're going to have a cost summary, resource breakdown, timeline summary. Then we're going to have a checklist generator with some action items and next steps. And then the export tools, so we're going to have a PDF export, a CSV export, and a share link. Like, I didn't ask it to do this. This is it thinking through how we're going to do this thing. Core elements, data model design, lovely. UI design approach, it's already pulling in my brand guidelines, which it's got in the project. And here's the implementation strategy. Again, we can have a little laugh about two weeks and one and a half weeks, because we've done it in two hours. Um, okay, excellent, excellent. Right, please go ahead and start implementing following your plan. Thought for three seconds and version one. So I'm on version one here. So having done all of that, this was version one straight out of the gate from taking the PRD and, um, uh, and then building. So we've got all of our color um, uh, brand guidelines. Uh, we've got some nice sliders here. Um, we've got a program timeline that it's created. I haven't even asked it, you know, how that should be structured. It's defined that. I've got the program summary here, download as a PDF and share the plan. Uh, oh, and a next step checklist. So there we go. One shot because we provided it with all of that, that PRD. Now, immediately start finding some errors. I was, okay, these numbers don't look right and the timeline doesn't quite look right and bits and pieces. So then what I've been able to do is just keep chatting. And I'm not going to show you all of my chats, but I'll show you two things that really make this uh, super helpful. So the first is this select button here. So I can select and now I can go to a specific section. So I can say here, for example, right, we've got program duration that is driving um, this cost. Well, it shouldn't be that. It should be the number of employees that is driving the duration the other way around. So by clicking on that, I can then ask a specific change uh, as I did, and it can target that rather than me having to say in this place, on that place, you should do that. Uh, I can do the same for any one of these calculations. How do you get to this number and so on? So that's uh, super helpful. Alternatively, another thing that I will do if I take off the select is just to take a screenshot of a specific area and I will drag that into the, um, uh, into the, uh, the chat box. And then I'll ask a question about that where I can say, this is what I'm looking at. Um, and can you fix that? So it really helps to almost give it eyes by showing it what you're looking at. So as you can see, over the past two hours, I went from version one, version two, version three, version four, then five, all the way through. Uh, I'm not going to show version 19 because it went wrong. Let's have a look at this color. I was asking it to, <laughs> to do some UI changes. I don't like that. And so this is a good exercise of when something goes wrong, come back one. Uh, to where things were working. And so here is version 18. And uh, this is the one that we're going to start implementing onto the website. And just a few things just to show you. We've changed the slider now. It's about the number of employees. Um, that is automatically driving some of these uh, calculations here. Um, we've got a toggle here if you're going to use external consultants or not uh, to run your program. If I take this off, external costs go nap down and the internal costs uh, go up. The program timeline has got all these different sections. So for AI strategy and development, this is going to last between one and four weeks. And then we've got a couple of milestones. So we're going to do the strategy kickoff. And then we're going to sign off the strategy. 
And so over the next couple of days, I'm going to be tweaking some of these. But these give uh, the, the CIO a real easy way of looking at what's going on in uh, the timeline. And the bit that I love is that as we extend that, if we're a 15,000 person company, we've got a much longer timeline and all of these uh, work streams change to fit uh, that work stream. Um, OK, so uh, there we go. Um, I have not had to look at any code for this, but I'm just going to show you quickly what has happened in the background. V0 has been writing the code. So we've got a planner component here, and we've got all the different subcomponents, a checklist generator, the expert bought tools, inputs, planner container, summary panel. So each of those have got the individual uh, um, that's a React uh, components that we'll put into the website. Here we've got where all the math happens. So for a program, we've got all of the costs, the durations, the number of resources required for each element. Uh, we've got all of the planner data for different salaries and so on. Um, we've got all of the planner calculations so that as you make the, uh, the um, program longer or shorter, it's going to do all of that uh, dynamically. But I have not had to write one single line of code to make that happen. Um, uh, it's now fairly simple for me to now migrate this over into my core project, which I'll be doing later on now that I'm, I'm happy with it. So there we go. Um, earlier on this morning, I had an idea. And literally three hours later, we now have a workable, dynamic, interactive uh, change enablement planner that I can put onto the website. And it's going to become a really useful asset for CIOs who uh, hopefully uh, get value from it and then want to learn more about Koala and about my own change enablement services uh, to help them with their own AI rollout.